Little treat. The C-5 is the U.S. military's largest aircraft. Seth and I got to take a tour of it, and we're going to give you a sneak peek. Take a look. Right now, I'm standing on the tail of a C-5, and did you know that actually six Peter Pan buses side by side can fit inside of this aircraft? Joining me now is Senior Master Sergeant Connor, and he's going to tell us all about the C-5s. Great to be with you, Sergeant Connor. Nice to meet you. Now, this is where we are right now is the maintenance hangar, which is where all of the maintenance is done on the aircraft. Yes. All right. Now, this is what we're standing on right now is a C-5. Tell us about these planes. Uh, C-5s, uh, first built in 1966. Uh, this one actually is a 1987 model. It's from Travis Air Force Base in California. We're getting ready to do a major inspection on it. Uh, so right now it's in this air, uh, hangar to have x-rays complied with and then we're going to wash it and uh, pull it into the hangar next door and do our inspection. Now what will the x-rays show? X-rays will show us uh, any cracks. There's uh, certain areas on the aircraft that engineering wants us to look at. Uh, we'll x-ray it. We'll look and see if there's any cracks in the metal. If not, we're good to go and we'll pull it next door. So it, whatever has to be done, if this aircraft will be moved next door, to be worked on. Now, what is that yes. area called? That area is the isochronal inspection dock. Uh, every 16 months, an aircraft C-5 is required to have a minor ISO inspection done, uh, and we're the base that does that. We're the only air, uh, base in the Air Force that does the minor ISOs. The major ISOs are done at Dover, Delaware. They're the only base that does the majors. So aircraft from the whole C-5 fleet come here, we tear them apart, inspect them, do operational checks on them, put them back together, and we fly them out. Uh, we can do that process in about 17 days. How many C-5s are on base at one time, typically? Uh, typically, there's probably uh, 8 to 10 C-5s on, on base at any time. This is a massive aircraft. Yes, it is. Okay, Very large. how big is this aircraft? We're actually oh. st we're standing on the tail of it right now. So we're on the tail. We're 65 feet, 1 inch off the ground. Uh, it's nose to tail. It's 247 feet long. Wingtip to wingtip, it's 222. So nose to tail, it's actually longer than the first Wright Brothers flight back in 1903. So looking at the plane, I mean, it's a massive plane, but really their flight wasn't too long. No, it was not very long <laughs> at all if you look at it that way, yes. Once the aircraft is repaired and, and everything's good to go, mm -hmm. then it can make its trip. Now, who goes on the plane? Flight, a flight crew consists of a pilot, co-pilot, flight engineer, and a loadmaster. And usually uh, mission essential ground personnel will go with it also, some mechanics, in case they need to uh, do any maintenance while it's on the road. How many people are in your crew? Uh, I run one of the largest, well the largest maintenance flight uh, in the Air Force. I have 205 people that work for me, uh, 140 of them are full-time and 60 of them are part-time. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of people and it's a, what they call a, a, a total force integrated unit. I have 35 active duty, 70 civilians, uh, 40 Air Reserve technicians and 60 uh, reservists who come in once a month. And now, what is your job? What is it that you do? Uh, I'm in charge of the isochronal inspections. So I make sure that these aircraft are being fixed, being fixed correctly. I have an excellent team that works with me, uh, plenty of supervisors underneath me and workers. Mm -hmm. uh, and we work together as a team and get these aircraft fixed, fixed right the first time and uh, get them back to where they need to be delivering stuff down, down range. Now, you were explaining to me that this C-5 is a modified version. Now, yes. what does that mean? This is a C-5M. Uh, all C-5s that are in the fleet, that are going to be left in the fleet, all B-models, are going to be converted to C-5Ms. Uh, this aircraft has been modified. It's got different engines on it, different pylons, upgraded hydraulics, and some upgraded electronics. Uh, it's supposed to be more reliable uh, and fly this aircraft into 2040. So now that we've heard about it, Sergeant Connor, can you take us on a tour and let us see the inside of the yes, plane? Yes, I can. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Down the stairs. We got off the tail of the C-5 and headed down six flights of stairs and made our way to the front of the plane. Just watch your step up here. It's okay, I got my hard hat on. Whoa! This is crazy! You can still smell that new airplane smell, because they just did, redid this thing. I love that new airplane smell. Oh yeah, it's got all new interior panels, so they redid it all. It's very, very nice. Uh, new lighting, LED lighting on the ceiling. Uh, new lighting up on the walls. This wasn't here on a, a C-5B. Much brighter in here. Much brighter. So this is where two buses could be? Two each, side by side, three deep. There's six uh, bunks upstairs. There's a 75-person uh, troop compartment. You can carry 75 troops in here, too. Really? Yeah. Is that what that ladder goes to? Yeah, you want to go up there? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. 
We followed Sergeant Connor upstairs to see the seating area. He explained how important it is to be safe, efficient, and productive. The quicker we get these airplanes back to where they belong, they can get beans and bullets downrange. It's all about aircraft availability. The more available we can make these airplanes, the more missions they can fly. Next, we head downstairs to the other end of the plane, the cockpit. Seth and I both had a chance to sit in the pilot seat, but there are many different positions that are crucial to executing a safe, successful flight. You're sitting in the pilot seat, co-pilot sits on the right, uh, flight engineer sits over here. Basically, a flight engineer, he uh, is not just a third set of eyes. He is seeing everything that the pilot and co-pilot see on his instruments over here. It was incredible getting the chance to talk with Sergeant Connor on his role maintaining the U.S. military's largest aircraft. These planes are crucial. They carry out specialized missions involving oversized cargo that no other aircraft can carry. They're capable of carrying 265,000 pounds of cargo. You'll be able to get an up-close look at this essential massive plane at the air show this weekend.